to the pocket. Ten more down for Ricky Ward as the pressure continues to escalate here from Burlington, North Carolina. He'll open. The PBA Winter Tour continues. One pin separating the players right now going into Jason's sixth frame. On the lane, he had a little bit of trouble with. Oh, and he gets the scout coming across and knocks out the seven pin. This is a very familiar shot with power players. Just so much power and speed, they throw those pins into the wall and they come flying across. And with that strike, he remains only one pin down. Here's Chico Valenswell, we mentioned a moment ago, the proprietor here at the Country Club Lanes West. Been a great host for all of us on our crew. And the players have enjoyed the facility as well, no question. Two in particular remain. Right in the pocket again. And Jason Couch can feel it. He's on a roll. Well, you know, a lot of times when Jason gets a double like that, he's going to show a lot of emotion. We're going to watch this ball go light. It tickles the five pin. Head pin goes over there, takes out the other ones. He knows he's got three frames left against a real good competitor. Ricky's got to stay with him. Couch, five strikes, seven frames. Can Ricky keep pace? Real pretty shot by Ricky. You know, the good players can spot when other good players are making good shots. And Ricky right now is just really making good shots. He's got a nice rhythm going. It's very relaxed at the bottom of the swing. Stays in his routine. But right now, this is the eighth frame. If he can strike here, no matter what Jason Couch does, he can shut him out going into the ninth and tenth frame. Absolutely perfect shot. Points at it and says, that's right. Brian, how do you keep your emotions in check when the pressure is at this high a level so late in the match? Well, hopefully your experience plays a big part. Ricky's been in the, in the winner's circle before. He knows how to do it. He's an experienced player. For guys that have you know, never been on TV, it's, it's really frightening. But these guys are all pros. They really are. Little pin action. Jason Couch stays right with him with a light hit. Two frames to go, one pin difference. Almost the same hit we saw earlier. Head pin goes to the wall, smacks all the other pins out of the way. Ninth frame, huge frame for Jason. He's a scorekeeper, he knows the situation. If he doesn't strike here, Ricky can go up there and take the title from him with two frames to go. The strike here will actually take a nine pin lead and put a little pressure pressure on Ricky. Drama really building now. Is Seven. he gonna get it? Well, he made a good shot, but when he got the lazy seven, four pin just stays in the gutter, decides it's not gonna bounce out this time and get it. But he needs to make the spare. done many times in his career. Patriotic, spare ball. See him turn away as soon as he let go of he knew he made it, he knew he made it. And now Ricky Ward's destiny in his own hands. If for some reason Ricky doesn't strike here and he gets some sort of spare, it's gonna go down to the 10th frame. They'll be within one pin of each other, assuming that uh, uh, Ricky doesn't go up there and throw any kind of a split, but a strike here is just huge. Big shot. Big ball. That was pure, folks. You didn't see much emotion from him. He knows he's got to muster up some energy, get the job done in the 10th frame. Just an absolutely perfect shot, as good as you can throw it. And right now, potential 269. The best Jason can shoot is 247. If he strikes on this ball, folks, all he'll need is a couple pins on the next shot so he can win the match with a strike here. Seven strikes already. Something bothered him. Did the right thing and backed off. He's going to go through his whole routine again. 
and by PBA rule, if something did bother him, the 30-second violation will not come into play. That's what he needs. A victory on the line. Absolutely perfect. Ricky Ward, the last four shots, just pure them all. Great shot, but it's not over. He's got to, for number one, he's going to stay behind the foul line. He's bending down. He knows this is a good shot. Please, please, please. And he got it. And there, right there, is the face of a winner. He knows he's got it, but he's got to go up there. He's got to stay behind the foul line. Best J Jason could shoot is 247. Basically, five pins on his ball, and he'll have his first victory in more than 16 months. We have more motion now. There you go, Ricky. That's the way to do it. We have our champion for the Tar Heel Open, fifth career PBA title. Congratulations goes to Ricky Ward as he wins it over Jason.